Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Ikamala Mutinsi Bogoshamwane For those of you who are new here, a very warm welcome to you I hope you like it here and you stay Please like the video, please engage with me in the comment section Please subscribe and the family grow <laughs> Um, so tonight guys, I just thought we need to have a bit of a girl chat se session We haven't had one in a while and I feel this is important um, I've been meaning to film this video for quite some time now But then because of like your girl doesn't have time Like time is not on my side Who hate and we thank the Lord um, Yeah <laughs> This is also not my preferred lighting I would prefer natural lighting but because Na go, na go, and just things don't happen, don't always happen how you want them to. So we here. Um, let's do a bit of housekeeping. Ala, uh, what the topic we're going to speak about now? I'm not a professional in. I'm speaking based on um, personal experience, and it's what I feel strongly about at the moment because I'm going through it. Like guys, I am in it and that is marital contracts okay um as we know or as we may have experienced um okay i'll speak for myself my parents are married in community of property and that is the only marital contract i've ever really known about till this um chapter in my life as you know i am getting married to the love of my life we're in the process and we we're going in it like guys there's on days there's off days there's a lot more on days i don't want to lie and all glory be to god really all glory be to god and it's only natural for you to have off days like there's days when i'm getting sms's regarding marriage and don't do and i just like get out of my face <laughs> Then sasang you on, then ni ni ni, I'm frustrated, then ni ni ni, um, you wake up in the wee um, hours of the morning, st not stressed, but then really just calculating how's this gonna pan out, how, where are we going to get the money for this, and, and, and marriages, weddings are expensive, guys, but it's also a gift from God, and, um, challenges, God, God will not give you uh a task or will not give you into to do and god's grace is sufficient that's what i'm trying to say god's grace is sufficient guys and his grace will take you through whatever dream and plan he plants in your heart and um whatever opportunities he brings in front of you uh, you will be able to push and make it through only through having faith in him and letting him guide your path and walk with you so it's really exciting it's a time of self-discovery it's a time of knowing who's who in your life to be honest but yeah story for another day um, yeah let's backtrack a bit so with um, marital contracts, I personally have always known for there to be a marriage in community property, meaning and that is what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours. And um, a lot of the times when I heard stories about in community property, it's how it's 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 a way of a man and a woman to declare their undying love for each other like I love my person too much how would I choose any other marital contract when there's this one in any in, eh? so a recent discovery I made is that when you know how in our black communities um, so uh, where where the the where the groom as a kalupsobobuche, so kalupsobobuche is where the groom's where the groom comes with his family negotiators or representatives to ask 
for your hand in marriage yes they ask for your hand in marriage from your family and usually they leave a portion of the bride price which is what happens with most of us to be honest um and yeah so they live a portion of the bride price and on the day we cook and it's a, it's a celebratory day my 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 mother's daughter is getting married so it's just yeah it's a beautiful thing so you want to cook you want to get matching outfits you want there to be witnesses like your friends like um close family and friends so how hubby and i did it is we invited all of our close friends and family we cooked we had a nice lunch yeah we had a nice lunch and there was a bit of dancing on the street it was nice guys it was nice and marriage is not something that is um it's not for everyone it's also not everyone's blessing so when it does come it's like <gasps> nah <laughs> So yeah, so that's how Hubby and I did it and I know I've never heard of a family receiving like bride price and not celebrate it in some way. But what the bride when the bride price is paid, a lot of our families we want to cook, we want to get matching outfits and look cute and usually the groom is outside of the yard chilling in the car probably texting back and forth with you which i can't wait to be your forever i love you how's things going what are you seeing there so i'm like his eyes on the inside and you know he's my eyes outside cute right yes <laughs> but then here's the catch on the initial um that initial day where the hubby comes and his family and you know, he's chilling outside and then he comes in for a lunch nyana and we eat and we see him in pictures and that is marriage in community of property by default so and that is something i didn't know because mina in my mind it's not only a portion is paid and we're still in the process so even on my social media i updated becoming mrs ngubeni or you update becoming mrs ndonton you are actually mrs ndonton <laughs> and that i didn't know guys so um yeah so that's why i felt this is important for all my girls to know this and all the guys actually like this is information that just needs to get out and saturate especially in the black community because we don't know these things like we don't know the i didn't know these things and i know my sisters don't so um my assumption would be a lot of black women do not know this yeah so if there's pictures or there's proof that your hubby was there on the day whether two rand was paid instead of the whole ten rand that is agreed on and things like that it doesn't matter you are married in community property except if there's like a letter or a contract that states so paperwork is important as well um yeah so with all of that being said there's three marriage contracts or there's three marital contracts or marriage regimes that um one can choose from the first one is in community of property in community of property is what's yours as mine and what's mine as yours meaning should you pass on with a 10 billion um liability if we married in community of property automatically that 10 rand falls onto my estate meaning they can um it can be claimed by law on my estate example would be COVID. a lot of the people i i i, I used to work for the financial industry so with um you'd hear people resigning from work and cashing out their pension funds to start this amazing business whether it's getting a sanitizer or getting a or getting machinery to manufacture ama to manufacture ama masks and stuff because COVID did look like a long pandemic. Yeah, it did seem like it's gonna be 
it's going to, 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 to be for a couple of years coming but then we in 2022 COVID was why in 2020 and it's over so it's like two years and a couple of months now and we're already over COVID so um, in saying that there's people who are stuck with COVID machinery or COVID stock that they like that the, that is unsellable because nobody wants it nobody's seeing a use for it type of thing and yeah so from that scenario you find you are uh, your pension fund is on zero you owe the bank 10 million i'm your wife who married in community property whatever you owe to the bank means i am owing so it doesn't make business sense you see and then also should people change circumstances change and you, you people grow and you find that the marriage dissolves and, and because we married in community property it means i have to share all of our hard-earned work and um assets with you and the other and there's um out of community property with the cruel so out of community property with the cruel um, simply means that whatever assets I have and assets and liabilities I have and vice versa before marriage is yours so that is like separate that's separate from your marital estate so it's still it's 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 partially in community of property because from the day from the date that your marriage is pronounced or you sign yeah, yeah the day that you get into marriage then whatever you accrue profits from the businesses before or your yeah, appreciation of assets or anything else that we get so if i had a a million rand bond and then um we get into marriage i guess it's a million and five ten years later the property appreciates to say two million and unfortunately in, in an unfortunate circumstance where the marriage dissolves the value of the property is two million so out of that two million they deduct whatever the property was before marriage which is a million and the million that was accrued on the marriage we need to share same with um liabilities if you're owing money we it gets claimed from the both of us or from our estate before we actually sh before we actually share profits from our estate i hope that makes sense and then there's out of community of property without accrual and that is without accrual meaning what's mine is mine what's yours it's yours and that is for life but then the nice thing about that one is you have the freedom of getting into business like um, if you're an entrepreneur or like a risk taker or you're living life and you're just going in that it's good in the sense that you don't drag um, your partner into fault should um, the booby hit the fan business ventures go wrong and stuff your partner is not dragged into that and vice versa but then your assets um can still be all share your assets with your partner using a will so it's out of community of property in on the business front of things but then in actual fact we good yeah right and then also something else to note is that if you go into um a marriage in no marriage out of community of property without accrual that is you need to get an anti-natural contract or like a prenup prenup anti-natural contract is the same thing so um you need to get that you need to have that in place before the day to actually sign with the marriage official or go to home affairs and get a date yourself and stuff before you go through that process you must first see a notary a notary drafts the um, contract for you and then um drafts the contract for you invites you guys to come sign it must be voluntarily um you go to the offices or you meet wherever you sign the contract you get your copy the notary um has their own copy which they need to um 
register and with that copy you can now get married so when at home affairs you need to produce that contract or when um, getting married through a marriage official a marriage officer at a church or on the day of your marriage or whatever the 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 thing um you need to produce that in order for the marriage to not be out of it to, in order for the marriage to not be in community property except if that is the marriage regime you're going for so yeah so whatever marital contract you go into just ensure i'm a consequences but then the one thing i feel that we as black girls or black families do not um, have enough information on is the lobola thing when ilobola comes to get paid say your bride price is 10 rand and then the hubby just brings two rand or five rand and they'll come on another date that is set by the family and agreed upon well and good but then um on 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 in that process the, the no pictures are supposed to be um taken for the public to see but what are the chances they won't and then your hubby also mustn't be present till the day you decide okay this is the final day and we're getting married and this is what we're agreeing on so whatever marital contract you go you go for it does not um change or decrease or yeah, it doesn't change how much you love your partner or it doesn't change um, the reason you guys are getting married but then you're just being smart about things and in turn you're protecting generations coming your kids generations coming and so on and so forth you just need to be wise and not be drunk in love <laughs> but overall love is beautiful and marriage is from god and whatever god puts together like you should let no man put us under like definitely not so yeah thank you so much for tuning in i really hope you learned something from this and if you found it useful if you found this information useful i know i rambled quite a lot it is a girl chat guys i did say i'm not a professional i'm just telling you from my personal experience and um please share it with a sister with a friend anyone else that you think might need to know this whether they in whether they're on the road to becoming a missus or they just women living life and but I think, I feel this is information that needs to go out there and people need to know about. I really hope it was um, informative. Please like the video, please comment, please share, 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 share. Please engage with me in the comment section. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much. Until the next video or vlog, it's adios. Be a boom, be